Hey guys, uh, just going to check in on this ASX announcement for ADA Energy, okay? And go through it like line by line, and uh, so we can really, um, we can really kind of start to to appreciate um, what is going on here, okay? So um, let's just do this and yeah, move over onto here. So let's zoom in, okay? So you can see. Um, above here, this thanks to our Kurt uh, in the room for sharing this. Um, let's see if we can get up here. And all right, so going through this, we've reached total vertical depth on ADA Energy. Um, let's just see, do 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 do, and just tidy this up a little bit. Um. Okay, reaches total vertical depth of seven thousand three hundred thirty-three. Four feet drilling has now ceased. Okay, fine. All three target reservoirs. So these are the. This is where the oil is. The reservoirs. We've reached them uh, with the uh, well penetrating with elevated gas readings. Okay, so they're getting hitting gas straight away, uh, which would be normal. Observations of cuttings and samples real revealing oil. Uh, yeah, fine. We kind of had samples of that already. Uh, wireline logging set to commence shortly to confirm uh, mobile hydrocarbons are present as well as to elevate the reservoir quality and flow potential target zones. So this is really the, the to see how tight the oil is, okay, to see essentially uh, do, are they going to have to stimulate the hole as in, um, you know, the frack it uh, or um, they can kind of shoot um, particles into the hole to break down the rock, the porous rock, to then release, uh, you know, to make the oil a little more uh, flowable, if you like. You can inject gas, you can inject particles, you can inject chemicals and water jetting, all these sorts of methods to stimulate the hole, essentially. Um, so obviously the tighter the hole, um, the more expensive it is gonna be to extract, right? But, you know, we can see from AD, or from ConocoPhillips and some of the other drillers in the area that they're not experiencing any, anything crazy uh, in terms of tightness. Um, so I, we shouldn't really be expecting any problems here on the, um, on the flow potential right, of the target zones. Um, if, there is, if there are uh, issues with one of uh, these three target reservoirs, and um, that could be a bit of a fly in the ointment for for the uh, general cost on the well, but shouldn't be a problem. Um, so wireline coming up, and I'd be really interested to see what those results are there. Um, yeah, more here. Arctic Fox rigs exceeded expectations in drilling. Uh, and the and these drillers are actually holders uh, of some shares as well. We need to realize. Um, and then here's the next one. All three Nanshuk targets, N20, 19, and 18, were penetrated. Um, and physical cuttings collected. Initial observations of the logging while drilling logs and drill cuttings collected throughout the drilling operations revealed target intervals are thicker than those encount encountered in Merlin 1 as anticipated pre drill, with oil shows noted under white light in the three target. Nanashuk reservoirs. Polarsense has also been observed in numerous samples when placed under ultraviolet light, an indication of oil presence. Additionally, when solvent uh, was applied to the fluorescent samples, moderately fast to immediate and blooming cuts were noted, the speed of which is often a proxy for sam uh, sample permeability. All right, now this is really important and this is quite uh, promising. So remember I was saying up here about the tightness of the hole, um, you know, the tightness of the reservoir, how easy is it to get the, you know, to stimulate the hole, to get the oil back up, right, and to recover. So what they've done as they're, they're alluding to here is the fluorescence uh, is indicative of oil, but we have samples from back uh, last, uh, I think, summer, when the samples came back, cutting samples came back, that there was oil present through fluorescence. That's, we know that, that's fine. But they're saying that uh, the samples that they had, they uh, applied a solvent. See, see what I was saying is you can apply 
chemicals, uh, you can use jetting, you can, you can do all, there's all sorts of ways to stimulate um, the reservoir. But when they applied solvent, i.e. chemicals, um, the tightness turned to moderately fast to immediate and blooming. So you want immediate and blooming, right? Which is basically that, that gusher moment where, whereby if you can apply the solvents, the oil will flow. Okay, simple as that. So, so this is pretty positive, turning out that, you know, we should get oil, uh, easy oil out of this thing. Uh, continuing on here. Finally, significant mud gas peaks were detected across all target sequences in the Nanashuk with marked increases in the heavier carbon compounds, C2C5 observed in each. Um, so this is essentially saying that they're getting gas um, I don't think they're getting gas in the drilling column, but significant mud gas uh, peaks were detected across all target sequences. So they have gas, um, which is to be expected for sure um, on drilling. That's, you know, that's why it's a footnote sort of here. Um, furthermore, or further a more detailed analysis will be conducted on the mud gas samples upon uh, the mud gas isotube delivery to 88 Energy's preferred lab. Um, so they're just going to sample the gas there and see what the sort of quality of that gas is uh, output from the wells. All right, so I don't want to go on too much about this. Um, just wanted to break down the announcements on the ASX. Thank you to Kurt for sharing that in our Discord room on Duggan Capital, one of the traders we have uh, looking at ADA Energy uh, with me. And um, yeah, so that's it. All right. So hopefully this is of some use. Uh, please do click the like or subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. Cheers.